Beauty and the Beast, a tale of kindness, courage, and true love. Once upon a time, in a small village tucked deep within a beautiful forest, there lived a young woman named Belle. She was known not only for her beauty, but also for her kind heart and curious mind. Belle had flowing dark hair like the night sky and eyes that sparkled with the curiosity of endless adventures. Unlike the other villagers, Belle found her joy in reading books, losing herself in stories of far-off lands, brave heroes, and incredible magic. She dreamed of a life filled with adventure beyond the little village. Belle lived with her father, Maurice, a quirky inventor with a heart full of creativity. He built fascinating gadgets and machines, and Belle loved spending time in his workshop, learning about his inventions, and dreaming up new ideas. While the villagers thought Belle was a bit strange for her love of books and big dreams, Belle didn't let it bother her. She knew her heart was leading her toward something special. One day, Maurice set off on a journey through the dark and mysterious forest to show one of his new inventions to a nearby village. But as he traveled, he became lost in the twisting paths of the forest, and a fierce storm began to brew. The wind howled through the trees, and shadows danced around him making the forest seem alive. Maurice stumbled upon a large, eerie castle that seemed to appear out of nowhere. Desperate for shelter, he entered the castle, hoping to find safety. But instead of warmth, Maurice was met by the castle's frightening owner, a beast with sharp claws, a mane of fur, and a voice that rumbled like thunder. The beast, who had once been a handsome prince, was under a terrible curse placed on him by an enchantress. Because of his selfish and unkind ways, he had been transformed into a beast, and the only way to break the curse was for someone to love him despite his frightening appearance. Thinking Maurice was an intruder, the beast angrily locked him in the cold dungeon. But Maurice's loyal horse, Philippe, escaped and galloped back to the village to alert Belle. Belle, worried for her father, bravely followed Philippe through the stormy forest, determined to rescue Maurice. When she arrived at the castle, she found her father in the dungeon. Without a second thought, Belle offered to take her father's place as the beast's prisoner, begging the beast to let Maurice go free. Touched by her courage, the beast agreed and set Maurice free, though Belle would now remain in the castle. At first, Belle was frightened of the beast, who appeared so cold and distant. But as the days passed, she discovered something unexpected, the beast wasn't just frightening, he was also deeply lonely and sad. Inside the castle, Belle found a massive library filled with books, and her love for reading grew even stronger. She spent her days exploring the library, and soon, the beast began to join her. They would sit by the fire, reading stories and discussing ideas, and Belle found that the beast had a kind and thoughtful heart buried beneath his rough exterior. As they spent more time together, Belle saw past the beast's appearance and began to care for him. She realized that his true self wasn't the fearsome creature he appeared to be, but a kind and gentle soul who had been hurt by his past. The beast, in turn, grew to admire Belle's intelligence, her love of adventure, and her ability to see the good in others. Slowly but surely, the two formed a bond based on friendship, respect, and love. Meanwhile, Back in the village, a boastful and selfish man named Gaston had his eyes set on marrying Belle, not because he loved her, but because he admired her beauty and saw her as a prize to win. Belle, of course, wanted nothing to do with Gaston, as she knew her heart longed for something more meaningful. Furious that Belle rejected him, Gaston plotted a scheme to force her into marriage. Gaston gathered the villagers and filled their heads with lies convincing them that the beast was a terrible monster who needed to be destroyed. Armed with pitchforks and torches, Gaston led the villagers to the castle to capture the beast. When Gaston and the villagers stormed the castle, a great battle broke out. The beast, who had once been too sad to fight, found strength and courage in his love for Belle. He fought to protect her, risking everything to keep her safe. But just when it seemed like the beast had defeated Gaston, he was gravely wounded. As the beast lay dying, Belle knelt beside him, tears streaming down her face. She realized in that moment that she loved him, not for his appearance, 
but for his heart, his kindness, and the friendship they had built together. She whispered, I love you, and in that instant, the spell was broken. The castle glowed with magic as the beast transformed back into the handsome prince he had once been. The enchanted objects in the castle, Lumiere, Cogsworth, Mrs. Potts, and Chip, were also freed from their curse, returning to their human forms. The castle was restored to its former glory, and the dark clouds that had hung over it for so long disappeared. Belle and the prince were finally free to live the life they had dreamed of together. They were married in a grand celebration, and the entire kingdom rejoiced. The villagers, who had once misunderstood Belle, learned to appreciate her for her kindness, bravery, and intelligence. They realized that true beauty comes from within, and that love has the power to change everything. From that day on, Belle and the prince lived happily ever after, their story becoming a legend in the kingdom, a tale of love, courage, and the belief that true beauty lies in the heart. Moral of the story, this enchanting tale teaches us that true beauty comes from within. It's not what we look like on the outside that matters, but the kindness, love, and courage we show to others. Belle saw past the beast's appearance and loved him for who he truly was. Love, kindness, and bravery can overcome even the greatest challenges, and in the end, they make the world a better place. Follow-up questions and answers for children. Why did Belle decide to take her father's place as the beast's prisoner? Answer. Belle loved her father deeply and wanted to protect him, so she bravely offered to take his place as the beast's prisoner to save him from being locked in the dungeon. How did Belle and the beast's relationship change over time? Answer. At first, Belle was afraid of the beast, but as they spent more time together, they became friends. Belle saw the goodness in the beast's heart, and their relationship blossomed into love. What lesson do you think the villagers learned by the end of the story? Answer. The villagers learned that true beauty isn't about how someone looks on the outside. They realized that kindness, bravery, and love are the most important qualities, and they learned to appreciate Belle for her unique and wonderful spirit.